Yeah, that's what I do. I, um, I use um, experiences that I've had by virtue of what I learned through those experiences, how it operates, how that system operates, how that parasitic system operates, how that black hole operates, how the metatronic codes operate, how that seed atom operates. The competitive mind, the Boards and Mesa's quarantine, the ping pong game, the competitive mind. And um, so this is just sort of an add-on to the skateboard that I, I made. And um, and and so um, when I moved to Orange County after the fourth grade and, uh, and I began... Um, going down to the beach in Newport Beach, that's when I first became aware of uh, surfing, surfboards, skateboards that were now commercially available after, years later. And so I experienced the competitive mind in surfing. Now you can translate that across the whole corporate parasitic investment portfolio matrix of a false light phantom matrix, actually. Um, but here is an example because of the personal experiences that I had, okay? So, for example, I used to, I love, actually love to body surf more than I, I like to board surf. But I've been out board surfing with other board surfers, in this case, Newport Beach, California, in, in the early 1960s, right? And there wasn't very many people out on the water, okay? So, you know what a set is. So on that particular beach, which is Newport Beach, back during the early 1960s at a place called uh, 17th Street, which had a very nice wave that used to break there and what we call a southwest swell, particularly when if there was a hurricane down in Baja, California, on the west coast of North America, where the United States is, right, USA Inc. Incorporated, right, at... Uh, and so when it would come in, it would break in sets, which means one wave would come in, then another wave, then another wave, and then the best wave was usually number four. That's called a set of four, like two four square crystal cathedra joined as one, the silver and gold mated one. So when we used to go out, when I first started surfing back then, there was not, if you will, the competitive mind out there on a surfboard. In other words, hey, you want to take that wave? Go ahead, take it, right? In other words, it's not mine. These waves are free to ride. Mama Earth, the energy of those waves are free. That's a free ride. That's a free spirit. That's a free spirit providing you the electrical power to ride the electrical wave, experiencing the spin of the light. The spin capacity. And so what happens is, is you began as surfing became another marketing vehicle to sell skim boards, surf boards, surf trunks, wetsuits. You just add it all up. Right? And we're the ones that are providing the electrical power for all that marketing to take place. Right? And so what I noticed over time is now there was just a few of us that were out there at 17th Street. Next thing I know, there's like, man, there's like 10. Now there's 15, 20. Man, it's getting real crowded out here. Okay, now, now you got, that's more and more trunks, more and more surfboards. It's all being sold because it's being marketed through mass media. And now I begin finding out as people are now competing for these waves. And getting really aggressive to the point that it's hostile. 